happy Friday. Oh my gosh, we made it. We so made it. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, so today, well, I woke up this morning not having a thing to talk about. A thing. A thing. I was like, oh, I'll just listen to music on the way to work. Because I can't think of anything. And then... <laughs> And then stuff just started coming. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we're doing a video. And then I was, as I was thinking about stuff, and you know, one thought leads to another thought leads to another thought. And then I was flooded with a whole bunch of different topics to talk about. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, what? how do I choose? And then, um, I put it on my chapter again. Um, and then, uh, so then I'm, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting ready for, ooh, big break, I'm getting ready for work, or getting ready to, you know, leave, and I notice I can't find my little magnet, I didn't put it back in my bag, I left it at work, <clears throat> so I can mount the phone on my windshield, and I was like, oh man, I was like, everything was like set, you know, ready to go, and then I was like, I have a, I have a, another, another little metal plate, and, uh, from my old phone. And you know, I've been looking for that for I don't know how long, like months. I've been looking for that little mag, that little metal plate, and I couldn't find it. And then, as I was realizing that I didn't have the one that I usually use, um, it it just hit me. I was like, just go look for the other one. And do you know when I went into my room, I went exactly where the mag, the, the metal plate was. Like, I didn't even have to search for it. It was right there. And I was like, <laughs> at that moment, well, not at that moment, but just after that moment, I realized that was a Law of Attraction event. Because as I was desiring to do this video, it wasn't like, I truly had a, a heartfelt desire to do this video. And when I realized I didn't have the metal plate to do it, because uh, I don't like using the other one because it's, it's ugly when you see the dashboard. I like this beautiful view. Um, so when I realized that I, you know, that wasn't going to happen, I said to my, I just like had this feeling like, wow, I really wish, you know, I really wanted to do that video. And that's when the thought of that other plate came in. And then I thought to myself, I don't even know what that thing is, but I, something just prompted me to go to my room and I went and it was right there. Like all these months I was looking for it and I couldn't find it but it was right there <clears throat> because I was part of my law of attraction. I had a pure desire to do the video and that's that. that. I just wanted to share that law of attraction event because it, it's even though I know about it, it's still surprising every time it happens because it's always, it's like that, uh, it, it, it's unexpected, but you know it can happen, but it's just always a surprise. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like watching you have it in your favorite movie and you watch it all the time but every time you watch it it's like the first time you know it still has that that initial uh shock value if you will so um so today i wanted to talk about um there's something else i wanted to mention but i can't remember what it is oh yeah plus i was <laughs> i was like oh my gosh i'm running late so i was you know i have to be out of the house by a certain time and i was like way behind that time and so when I get in my car, you know, and I'm backing up and I say, you know, hey, Google, you know, um, take me to work and then GPS pops up, it has the time that I'm going to arrive. And do you know it popped up arriving exactly at the time I'm supposed to be at work? And I'm like, that's another law of attraction event. <laughs> you know, it's like, it just happened, whatever, whatever. I'm just grateful and I'm excited about it. So I thought I would share it. So uh, today I wanted to talk about abundance um, because I made a post this morning about it um, however before <laughs> before that um, I want to share something else with you yesterday's video that I made uh, the one about what was the title I don't remember what it's, I know it's green the writing is green it's all green um, so whatever today is it's the day yesterday so I, you know, as I was driving, I was getting, I was merging to get onto the freeway on-ramp, and I honked at this guy, and I said, and you'll hear it in the video, I said, don't have me stop my car and get out of my car. That's what I said, because he was, like, literally about to hit me, because he was trying to, like, just, he didn't want anybody else to get in, so he was really close and trying to, you 
you know, keep uh, no distance from, from my car and his car. Um, and I, I honked at him because he was like not really paying attention to my car. He was paying attention to the other car he didn't want to get in. And so that's why I had honked and said what I said. And after I said it, like, I felt some kind of way about it. Like, I, it was really weighing on me all day long. Like, I had, like, this ugly not feeling in my stomach because I said something that I realized that it was unloving. And then, and I was, the reason why I, I recognized it, I recognized, I recognized it in that moment. But, like I said, I listened to my videos, you know, about two to four times just to, you know, hear what I'm saying because I'm, I'm a believer in, in if you're trying to live in truth then you want to make sure that you're aware of what you're saying and if there's something that I'm saying because sometimes I speak so quickly I miss I misspeak and things come out wrong or they could be interpreted interpreted in a, in a, in a different way other than what I'm meaning it so so if you hear me misspeak and you know you hear me say things and the sentences don't come out right it's because I'm changing my thought and I'm changing my sentence or changing my thoughts in mid sentence so that's sometimes they don't they don't flow right um, but my thoughts come very very quickly so I speak you know in that manner to get them out um, because you 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 all should know by now that <laughs> I have a bad memory and once it's lost it's gone anyway um, back to what I was saying the the moment when I said I was going to get out of my car, you know, I was like, don't have me stop my car, you know, it was just in, in, in anger and frustration, and then after that I said, you know, don't have my soul come out because there's so darkness within my soul, and even though I recognized it, you know, intellectually, I had to own it emotionally, like I really had to own that on a soul level, and this is part of being truthful with yourself, is being able to recognize you know, being able to uh, be, being able to recognize what's within you, and you know, people would know this as you know, be able to call out your bullshit, your own bullshit. That's basically what it is. But you have to be self-aware in order to do that. <clears throat> so, um, like I said, it was weighing on me all day. I was like, why did you know? I was trying to find the root cause of where that anger was coming from, um, and. And then this morning, my niece tagged me in a post, and it was this guy on the freeway who literally stopped his car and, and, and got out of his car and talked to them, walked into the car behind him, and they were about to fight. And I was like, but see, my niece, we don't talk, like, we don't really chit chat or talk at all. But, you know, from time to time, you know, we'll, she'll tag me and stuff, you know, on Facebook. So there isn't any everyday interaction. So when something is presented to me, I know that it's it's for, a, like, I know there's a, a, me, a real meaning behind it um, versus someone who you chat with all the time and you really don't look at your interactions as much. So when she tagged me in this, I was like, wait a minute. And it reminded me of what I said yesterday. And it was just like, I, I knew it. I knew that it was weighing on me, but it, but I kind of like it just missed it after a while. Like I was honestly, I was like, I just want to go to bed and wake up <laughs> in a better, in a better space. So when I saw this this morning, it reminded me of it. And so now I know that's something I need to work on, um, and shouldn't easily dismiss because yeah, it is something that's within my soul. And that's the only reason why it came out as quickly as it did. When you think about something, it takes a while for the action to come out because you're thinking about something. But when you act in a manner where it's just instant, that's coming from your soul. And it could be, usually it's just it's just coming from your soul and it's telling you the emotional injuries that are within your soul. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, you know, that, law, that was a law of attraction event this morning. Um, and the reason why it was there is because there was a lesson to be learned and I, didn't quite get it yesterday. I didn't give enough. I didn't put enough effort in it, um, enough willpower to try to extrapolate the, the 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 lesson that was within that event yesterday. So I was presented with something else this morning, and it was spot on. Like I mean, I mean just wow. You know, just wow. Okay. Anyway, abundance, abundance, abundance. So I was thinking about abundance, and um, you know what it is. And I I made an Instagram post this morning. <clears throat> about um, abundance and I wanted to you know 
a, not attach it, but kind of point out some beliefs that New Agers have, especially with this law of attraction. Um, there are a lot of, you know, there are a lot of New Age um, people in and Christians, because I said before, what Christians do when they when they pray for things, um, when they pray for things, it's like. It's, it's what the New Age people do for Law of Attraction. It's like, bring me abundance. Bring me abund uh, bring me wealth. Bring me this. Bring me that. Bring me cars. I, I got thrown off guard because this police was behind me. And I know I was going a little faster than what I should have been. <laughs> so my thoughts were kind of like me. Eh. Anyway. Um, so I'll just put on cruise control so I don't have any problems. <laughs> Jeez. I don't want any problems this morning. So, um... When, when when Christians pray, they're praying for they're praying for God to bring them something. Oh God, please, you know, let me get this job. Um, uh, please help me pay, bring me money so I can pay my bills. Whatever it is, that's what Christians do. Well, law of attraction, uh, New Agers, you know, they ask the universe to bring them these things. They focus on these things so the universe will bring it to them. It's no different. It's the same thing. They're just one of them's doing it towards an energy. The other one's doing it to you know a being that they're asking being or whatever so you know it's just it's the same thing <clears throat> however when we have to work hard or work period when we have to work to get something it's not the law of attraction bringing it well it is because the law of attraction is always bringing it however we have to understand what's behind it so if you have to work hard for your money and you can't really enjoy it and you can't do other things because your your the money that your wealth that you're getting is dependent upon you being active using your willpower that's not abundance abundance is having freedom to do whatever it is you want to do when you want to do it that is abundance and you don't have to really work for it because if you're if you're doing something that is your passion then it's not work and it won't feel like work ever It'll just be your passion and you'll enjoy doing it and you'll you'll want to get up in the morning and, and do it every day because it's just part of who you are. It's part of your soul. And so it's different than going to a job that you don't like but you make a lot of money. That is completely different. That's not abundance. Let me close my brain before this skunk stuff. I already smell it. Um, <clears throat> that's, not a, that's not abundance. That's being a slave to wealth. That's being a slave to finances, to money. That's what that is. There's no freedom in that. And, you know, the thing is, you know, I was recognizing this in myself. You know, it's like, okay, I shell out about, what, $6,000 a month in expenses, bills, you know, things like that. And I was like, some, some people will hear that figure and be like, oh, my gosh, you must make a lot of money. Oh, my gosh. Like, that's, a, that's like a whole lot. See? See? Good thing I was like, you know, on my P's and Q's on the road because he pulled somebody over. But, you know, someone will hear that figure and be like, gosh, I wish, right? I wish I could have that much money. And then to some people, they're like, that's nothing, you know? That's just, that's nothing. Um, but what I'm saying is I spend a great deal of money. Like, I spend a lot of, a lot of money I, I'm spending. This is going out. It's also coming in, but I have to understand that I'm working all the time for it. Like, whatever money I have coming in to pay these bills, I'm working for it. I can't, I can't just sit home and it generate money. I, well, there's some things in my life that I have that, gener that generate money for me and I don't have to work for it. And <clears throat> this is another thing I'm going to point out. I hope I can remember. Um, but I'm slave to the money. I'm not, I don't have abundance. And see, the thing is, New Agers and... and Christians and other beliefs, other faiths, they'll say, oh, I'm abundant. I have a great deal of money. Um, I can pay all my bills. Just because you can pay all of your bills does not make you abundant. It just means that you, you can pay all your bills. What's important is the emotions that you have in, in, in the dealings of all these finances. So I know that I can't just sit at home and all my bills be paid. No, I have to get up in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, and I have to work. 
then I have to work even more after that. So I work, I actually have other things that I do. So I'm working for what people are calling abundance and it's not abundance. I'm a slave to this money. And the reason why I'm a slave to it is, and the reason why I'm, I'm, I have to put my willpower into it is because the law of attraction is not bringing me the abundance, it's not bringing me the wealth on its own because there's something in my soul that dictates you cannot have that. So I have to generate it on my own. And this goes all the way back to Adam and Eve. I mean, you know, I'm going to keep bringing them up because, you know, all of this mess starts with them. So, and I'm not trying to blame them. I'm just recognizing where this junk starts from. So, you know, they had everything that they needed. The law of attraction was working because they didn't have anything that was outside of, out, there, was, there wasn't anything within their soul that dictated that they couldn't have it. And so God was providing them with every single thing. And then... They made that decision, which was an unloving decision. And <clears throat> because you, when you reject love, that is an unloving thing. And so when God was offering his love, that was an unloving thing. And, but they had the free will to to do that. That's They had that choice. And they, they enacted that gift that they had, the free will gift. And so at that point, they had to work for everything now. Everything they, they got, they had to do on their own. But it wasn't, it wasn't to the extent that it is today with the money. Um, they were able to make anything and, and the, the earth would provide for them um, all their food and everything, but they had to put effort into it. And it wasn't a lot, you know, you put in here and there, you know, God would still bring the clouds and it would rain and would water the crops and all these things. So they didn't have to work as hard, but now, Oh my God, just think about how hard we have to work just to get clean water. I mean, really. They, Adam and Eve didn't have to do anything. I mean, they just walked on over to the river, put their, cut their hands together, and they, they drank the water. I mean, it was still available. But now, we have to get up in the morning, go to a job, be there eight hours a day, sometimes even more, just to buy clean water. I mean, really, this is what's going on. So... <laughs> I know I said that before, but I really do. <laughs> I love my horses. Um, so I couldn't do that in a Geo Metro. Okay. <laughs> Grateful and thankful. So, you know, when, when we look at how much willpower we have to uh, put into something in order to get something in return, it's a lot. It's a lot. And, like, there's times, like, I don't get home until 11 o'clock at night. And so... When we look at abundance, when we look at what that really is, it means that I'm, I'm free to enjoy the things that I, that I desire. I can't even spend time with my dog because I have to work so much. And see, here's one of the things, the reason why I have to work so much, I'm putting all my business out there, but this is just part of it. It's just, it's the truth. I mean, that's what I'm about. I'm about talking about the truth. So I can't recognize something if I'm hiding stuff <clears throat> from myself and others. But it's not about it's not about others. It's about myself. But I'm I feel free, you know, to say this. There's, there was a point where I would never divulge this information, but now it is what it is. Um, so, like, I have like a little over maybe about forty thousand dollars in credit card debt, mind you. About two years ago, I had zero credit card debt, like none, nothing. Like all my balances were zero, and I have a whole bunch of credit cards, and. When I, the reason why I have a lot of debt is because at, at, at one point I was under a certain belief system. I had certain beliefs that, you know, when it comes to friends and family, you have to help them if they're in need. And so when someone came to me and said, hey, you know, I'm struggling and, you know, I'm trying to get my life on track, you know, can you help me out? I would give a credit card out and I would say, here, go ahead and use it. And you know, take care of whatever you need to take care of so you can get back on your feet. And so, you know, people racked up thousands of dollars. And I, the thing is, I gave it, I gave the credit cards away, not away, but I gave them access to, to my, 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 my lines of credit because I was under the impression, like, I understood that if anything happens, I am responsible. Like, I gave it without any attachments, meaning, 
when I when when someone asks me for money, I give it. I don't I don't say things like, "Well, what are you going to use it for?" I don't try to control and dictate those things. I just give it freely, and I'm also under the pressure under the impression that if someone is asking for money, then obviously they're having financial troubles. So, I'm also aware that there's a possibility that they won't pay it back in on time or ever. So, I'm I'm under, you know, you know this understanding, but that still doesn't change everything that's involved in this. So, you know, and plus I've been spending money, you know, using my credit cards myself. So I'm not blaming it all on other people, but I'm just saying that part of that forty thousand is not is not of my spending, but it is of my spending um, because I authorized it. So you know, I have this credit card debt, and so I don't like the feeling of credit card debt. I, I remember the feeling of having zero credit card debt. I remember having the feeling of being able to stay home <laughs> and enjoy my home. Like I remember that feeling and I don't have that anymore. And so no, I'm not I, I'm not experiencing abundance at all. I can't be at home and enjoy that the home that I have that I was awarded and I truly was awarded that house. That house was literally given to me and it's generating money to the point where I don't even have to pay a mortgage and I'm making a, a profit off of it. So, you know, it's like that was a law of attraction event. And that, that thing that I said I wanted to come back to is, is this. Your soul is not just dark or light. Your soul is a mixture of things. There are emotions within your soul that are dark that prevent certain things from coming to you. Where in addition to that, there are, there are things that are loving within your soul and it allows certain thing, other things to come to you. <clears throat> so, <coughs> though I may have a house that was literally, <coughs> excuse me, given to me, um, I'm going to pause this video real quick. Sorry about that. It went down the wrong pipe. So, I may be coughing a little bit. Um, just, so, an example, the example, an example of, of, of the different things that are within the soul are my, or through my experiences. So yes, I was awarded a home that I didn't have to really pay for and it's making me money. At the same time, I'm still having to work like crazy to take care of, you know, the debt that I that I don't like having. So you can see that there's abundance that was awarded, but there's also things that are having me feel a certain way. And it's not it's the the money is not important. The money is not important. That this stuff, and as, as I was alluding to yesterday in the video with Jim Carrey, having the money isn't important. This is why Jim Carrey kept looking for things, even though he had millions of dollars. Even though he he was able to cash that first check of a million dollars that he wrote to himself, he still wanted more. The money wasn't it. It wasn't it. It was never it. And he, he realized that once he had it. <clears throat> so I recognize... Look, fool. Look, this... Look at this, look at this, look at this. Mm, mm, mm. So, <clears throat> he's in a rush. Let him rush. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of uh, uh, coming to America when the, the guy said to the king, the guests are waiting, your highness. Let them wait. <laughs> Let him go. Let him rush. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> this abundance thing. So Jim Carrey had noticed that he he had the the finances, he what he thought was abundance, and what he thought was going to make him happy, but that wasn't it. That wasn't it. But however, that was a lesson that Jim Carrey had to experience. Or I'm sorry, that was an that was an experience that Jim Carrey had to go through in order to learn more, in order to progress. He had to have what he thought was going to bring him joy and happiness so that he could realize that it wasn't going to bring him joy and happiness ever. Ever. He had it, but he couldn't attain pure joy and happiness, this is, which is why he went on to this new age stuff, trying to be love and light because that's what he was looking for. He was looking for the love. He was looking for the that abundance. That is what abundance is, and that's what he was in search of. And even though he went on with the whole new age thing he still didn't find it and so this is why i say all these things that we're experiencing it's not that's not what is important so <clears throat> my my 
my home isn't what's important. The house itself is not what's important. Um, the dog that I have is not what's important. The 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 credit card debt that I have is not important. The money that's coming in is not important. None of that is important. The only thing that is important are the emotions that come from all of those things. That's what's important. That's it. That is it. Because we are a soul. And the soul only recognizes one thing. Emotions. Energy and motion. That is what's within the soul. Ah, you fool. Oh my gosh, really? So the car... <laughs> A truck that was like speeding by me is in back of me. <laughs> and this is his this is his law of attraction event. <clears throat> to show him that no matter how fast he goes and tries to pass everyone, he's this man is very frustrated. This is his theme in life. I know this. And if you maybe you can see it too, maybe you can. But his theme is people holding him back. And he's trying to go around and using his, his will to pass everyone. And he's still ending up behind people. And like now he's behind another car that's going slower than, than I am. And so when you look at you can look, you can tell the theme of people if you're uh, if you have this this if you <laughs> if you have truth, it'll look it it'll, it'll words you with clarity, man. I'm telling you. <clears throat> it'll words you with clarity. So <clears throat> And look, he is. St I know he is. St I wish you guys could see it. You guys, <laughs> you guys can't see it. Um, oh, here he comes again. He's swooping. He just ran, a ran across him. Here he gets. Here he goes. Watch. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Now, <clears throat> darkness has no vision. Darkness has no vision. <clears throat> It cannot see anything before it. It just reacts, and that's him reacting. He wants to get somewhere that people are in his way. Now, the, the traffic is going to start backing up on that, and that's why you see me go on this on this side over here. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be on the same freeway that he's on, <clears throat> but it backs up over there on the left. So this way is always quicker. It's just, you know, a little, little, little detour, but it's not really a detour. So <clears throat> he's going to be stuck in all that traffic. It's just going to happen. So... <clears throat> Anyway, abundance. So, you know, even though we have... I lost my turn of because I was focused on that man. <laughs> He's in the fast lane. I'm all the way over here and I'm, we're still... <laughs> and if he's looking, if he's looking at me, he's going to be angry. He is going to be angry. <laughs> This is, man, I'm telling you, your law of attraction, pay attention to it. <clears throat> There's one car behind me now. He's riding, he's riding that car like crazy. Anyway, I'm fascinated by this man because I'm fascinated by the law of attraction that's happening. And he looked like he's almost going to hit me. <laughs> like he's on my ass again. <clears throat> anyway, um, so, <laughs> Jim Carrey, uh, the thought that he was going to find all these things. And I told you that it's, it's all about the experience. It's all about the emotional experience from these things. And <clears throat> so, <clears throat> it's, it's like I said, it's not so much uh, the debt that I have or anything like that. It's about what I'm learning from it or what I'm getting from it or what I'm experiencing emotionally. So emotionally, I'm like, I'm frustrated. Like, because I can't, I want to stay home. You know, I, I want to be able to enjoy the home that was literally given to me. I want to enjoy those things. But even though I was given those things, I can't enjoy it. I can't even, I can't even enjoy it, like, at all. Because I have to work so much. But, like I said, people will look at what I'm bringing in, uh, dollar-wise, and they think, Oh my gosh, I wish I, I had that. I wish I had that for six months. So... <clears throat> You know, it's like, you know, whatever, whatever. And you just have to be mindful of the emotions that are associated with the experiences. <clears throat> so, I know he's mad. <laughs> he's mad. <laughs> Let me let you 
let this man go. I'm gonna let him have it. I'm gonna let you have it. <laughs> Just go ahead and get it. Go ahead and take it. You wanna fly? Fly. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, abundance. Um, when you have to work hard for it, it's that's not what that is. It just means that I have to engage in my free will in order to have the things that I want to have. I have to engage my free will and, and, and put in my willpower, I should say. I have to put in my willpower in order to get something in return. In order just to have my bills paid. In order to have my regular bills paid on top of the credit card bills paid. Like I have to have all this stuff just paid. And I have to work for it. But that's not abundance. So <clears throat> when someone says, who's part of this new age thing, law of attraction, when they say, oh yeah, you know, I need abundance to you know, have my bills paid, and then they have their bills paid, but they have to work so much, you know, in order to have it, that's not abundance. That's not abundance, unless it's, unless it's doing something that you truly have a passion for, because then it's not working. Would I like to be home and, or do something? There's actually something else I would rather be doing than, than doing what I do during the daytime. Um, but that hasn't happened yet. And so, but I'm working on it. Like, my development is actually actually priming my, me for doing something that I truly want to do. And so, but I'm patient. I'm patient. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I have, I'm not rushing anything. I'm not trying to make it happen. One, because I don't feel that I'm ready to do that right now. There are certain things that I must learn. It's like, it's like in a, being an attorney. You can be an attorney, but and you can go to you know, say different law schools or whatever. But if you're not ready, you're not ready. Like if you just have a degree and you think, oh, just because I have a degree, I'm going to be a lawyer. That doesn't make you a good lawyer. You have to continue to learn and and know what it is and know the law so that you can be the best that you can be. That's the difference. <clears throat> so, you know, I understand, you know, the, the abundance thing. I understand that I'm my my soul condition is not allowing the abundance to come through. It's not allowing that. So I have to use my will in order to do it. So God's laws, God's system, is responding to my soul and it's saying, "Hey, I know you would like to do other things that bring you joy and happiness." But I can't do that right now. I can't, my laws, my rules can't award you that right now because you don't have the correct amount of love in order to to do that. And that's like the key. You don't have, you know, the, the is it, am I getting off here? I think so. Uh, shoot. Is it? No. Is it? Let me see. I can't see. Yes. as I could when I was a kid. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, uh, anyway, you know, the, the law of attraction, um, all the laws of the universe, the ones that are, that I'm, that are responding to my soul cannot bring me that right now. It just can't. It cannot do it. Um, so, I have to use my will. And, <clears throat> the thing is, the lesson, especially what I was mentioning with the credit cards, um, me giving out money and and helping others, um, because I have we have to understand if you're if you're using credit, then that means that you don't have the finance the actual finances to the actual abundance if you will to just do it. You have to use the credit cards because you don't have that within your life. And so, and this is all part of um, man's creation. And it was it's like um, oh, I was going to mention Tron, but maybe I'll mention Tron. Monday or something. I was using a, using an example with that, um, <clears throat> but it was part of what I was talking about here. Um, but like I said, everything is connected, so I can take anything and, ex and mesh it together or whatever. Um, so, you know, with with the whole, you know, credit card thing, it's like, yes, I I was awarded credit, but man awarded me credit, right? Fine. You you and someone may say, oh, if you have you know, so many thousands of dollars in in lines of credit then that's abundance. Mm, yeah, but if I have to work super hard every day, all day to to pay these things back, then no, it's not abundance. I'm a slave to what I have accumulated. 
and <clears throat> that that's I understand that's not where it is but let me let me get back to this this thing about helping people I did this before I realized what I was doing was unloving when I was helping my my family members with you know with with finances um, <clears throat> I was interfering with God's laws I was interfering with their um, creation what they have created based on their soul condition. So if someone is struggling and they're barely able to pay their bills and they're not working and, they're, and they need things to, to get them started, that is their law of attraction. And when, if they can't generate it on their own and I step in, I am, vi I'm in violation because I'm interfering with God's laws. I'm using my will to interfere with God's laws. His universal laws that are designed for us to correct ourselves, I interrupted that. <clears throat> so if you have children who are like, and who they who feel they are entitled, and and when they whine and cry and you give it to them, you're interfering with God's laws. They're they're you're not allowing them to feel the lack because they don't have any appreciation for the things that they have been given. So, and for me. I have to pay for that. Like we have to pay for every sin that that we commit, and that is a sin, which means I have missed the mark in love. So instead of allowing my family members to experience whatever it is that they need to experience, so they stop generating the lack that they're experiencing, I interrupted that process. I took that 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 ability or that moment away for them to realize. And other people will step in. And do the same thing because if, if I don't do it, they're going to go to someone else. However, th that means that person is going to have to experience financial lack. And that's what I'm experiencing. Like I'm experiencing the pain. I'm experiencing the, the sting of interfering with God's laws. Because the bottom line is I didn't even have it. I didn't even have the love within myself in order to reckon. And this is another thing. I didn't have the love within myself to give it to another. I was trying to make it happen through some other means and it wasn't going to happen. Now, if I were loving, I would have said, hey, look, this is why this is going on. But I didn't know back then. And so ignorance supports ignorance. I didn't know any, I, back then when I was giving, <laughs> giving away credit cards and money, I didn't know of these laws that I know of today. So I, was, I wasn't aware. And I had said this before, if you're ignorant, you have to pay for that. Even though you don't know something, whether you're aware of something or you're not, if you take an action, you're responsible for that action. And so, even though I didn't know what I was doing, I'm still responsible for it. You understand? So, <clears throat> that's why I wanted to talk about, you know, this abundance thing. Because I know, I know, I know that there are people out there who are believing that if they're awarded anything, it's abundant. But if you're, if you're, if the emotions are not of freedom, of happiness and joy, then it's not from the, it's not from the universe. It's not from from God's universe. It's God allowing you to use your free will to get these things that you want or to have these things paid that need to be paid. But you have to work for it. God is not uh, awarding you that. You see what I'm saying? So <clears throat> and um like I had mentioned to someone like I work for an organization who whatever I'm not going to say anything all I'm saying is that I don't I don't we don't always get exactly what we need to perform the, the, the duties that we need to perform so you know like I was given like we were all given <laughs> a table like and it was the size of like those desks that and I think that's where it came from one of those um hotels those motel desks you know those small tables with one drawer that's what we were given and I, I work with a great deal of paper, like a lot of paperwork. And so I need space to sort all this stuff out because I was doing things for different programs. And so I actually had to go on Craigslist and buy my own desk and because I needed space. And so I used my own money in order to do the things that I need to do. Now, this is also my law of attraction. So my law of attraction stated I can't even put you... I can't even put you... The universe was like, I can't even put you in, a, in a, a position where you're able to even do what you were hired to do. I can't even do that. 
So you have to feel the frustration of that. But because I didn't want to feel the frustration, because I didn't want to feel the emotions attached to that, here I got on Craigslist and found a desk and went and strapped it onto my car and brought it in. Like, that's what I did. Um, and this is this is common in, the, in where I work because it's a nonprofit, and most people know that nonprofits don't have any money. There's money, but it's going to other places, and that's another story. However, <clears throat> I had to recognize that I wasn't being awarded any abundance. I was being given lack, and I did not like that lack. So I had to use my will to counter that lack. I Instead of using the pain, instead of using the emotional pain that I was getting from that, the feelings of, 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 of frustration, like I didn't want to feel that. So what I did is I enacted an, an, an addiction, which is, okay, I need to take this pain away. What can I do to take this, this uncomfortable feeling away? Well, I can use my money to go and pay for something that I shouldn't be paying for, but it's going to bring me more, it's going to bring ease, so I'm going to do it. And this is what we have to realize in our lives is that what are we doing, it's like what are we doing, what are we using our will for to make something better when we're presented something that's not something that we truly enjoy or we're okay with. We have to recognize this. This is all about being truthful with self. Like, I know most people would not even think about stuff like this. They just think, oh, you know, I'll buy it. I'll buy my own pens. I'll buy my this. Because we said we have to do that. We don't we don't get stuff like that. So we literally have to buy pens and calendars and all this stuff in order just to do our work. And so here I am working day and night, day and night. And I'm hired to do a job. And the job isn't even giving me something, giving me the tools to even carry out that job. So that means that my experience, both at work and at home, are dictating that I work, 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 work in order to have a, a, a an experience that's just okay at least. But <clears throat> what I'm not realizing or what I have not been realizing is that I'm not dealing with the emotions that's causing the lack to be presented because that's all that's being presented to me is lack. Everyone's A lot of people are being presented with lack. It's just we're using our willpower to cover that lack. We're using our willpower to cover the emotional injuries that are within our soul. And so just this conversation, conversation, this talk alone has opened my eyes to so much. And I know when I listen to this video, I'm going to, when I'm talking, I can't think as much as I would like to like in terms of what I'm talking about and, and the correlations in my life. But when I'm, when I'm listening to it, my mind is able to pick out all these, all these things that are, you know, that are happening and the emotions that are really attached to it and how I really feel about it. So we have to ask ourselves, how do we really feel about something? <clears throat> how do we really feel about what's being, pre what's being presented to, to us in our lives? How do we feel about that? How does it make us feel? Because that emotion is tied to a childhood emotion. I told you I grew up very poor, very poor. And meaning I grew up experiencing lack. And here I am, 40 years old, and I'm still experiencing lack. But in order to cover that lack up, you see, I, I have the ability now as an adult to cover it up. Whereas when I was a child, I couldn't work and cover it up. I had to experience the lack. So I had no choice. And so this, this, is, this is what I'm saying. It's like I'm experiencing the same things that I did when I was a kid. The only difference is I'm able to use my will now that I'm aware of it to mask it so the more you have is the more you're masking your emotions the pain that's within your soul so th if you have to work that's what you're doing because the universe is able like i said in my house is the prime example the universe is able to bring you everything that you need and desire it has that capability but if it's not we have to ask ourselves why all right everybody everybody have a great friday um and i'll talk to you guys soon have a great weekend. Bye-bye now.